Hi guys and welcome back to our flow. My name is Ross and this is part number 9 within our free online course about Adobe Illustrator. In this part we're gonna continue creating mascot logotype that we already started in the previous one, so let's proceed. So currently we have a lot of things completed, we have a bear, we have a hat, we have a lot of things, so let's proceed with uh, some other stuff. Let's move this corner to the right, and now we're gonna draw some other parts, such as eyes, nose, etc. At the beginning we need to make sure that our background is locked down, so select background, press common 2, and now let's proceed. Press P on a keyboard, and we'll start with the nose. Shift X to change fill and stroke color select red so we can make life easier for us and let's draw what we have over here perfect we have a half of a nose now simply hold alt on a keyboard click at the left point and now let's complete this path perfect now let's make a copy of this object so select it o option click at this point copy select both of those objects shift m to choose Shape Builder tool and combine them. Now let's draw this section. We are gonna need Pen tool, press P, stroke color, everything is fine, and let's draw this inner part. At this moment you're probably wondering what you need to do to adjust stroke width for this section, and that's quite easy. At the beginning let's change uh, stroke shape, so currently we have uniform, let's change it to this one with profile number one. Let's increase stroke width. And that's it. But if you want to adjust it more precisely, if you want to control it manually, press Shift W on a keyboard and you'll select with tool. And that way you can adjust thickness of some sections manually. I'll leave it like this for now. This one, let's make it smoother. Perfect. And now let's make a copy to the right side, because we want to keep them as similar as possible. Reflect. Let's draw this section, P. I'm gonna make sure that this one is set to based uniform. And I'm gonna draw this shape manually. Shift X to swap fill and stroke color. That's it. Okay. The next step is mouth, so for the mouth is gonna be quite simple, the same procedure, pen tool, and we'll draw on top of it, right to the middle, shift X to swap fill and stroke color so I can see what's happening over here, shift X one more time, now select this object, O, option, click, make a copy, select those two objects together, shift M, combine them together, that's it. Let's draw some square. And now we can swap colors for this nose, shift X. And now we can combine this nose and other parts. This, this and that. Let's make it some other color, for example, black. Those are gonna be white or dark gray. Let's leave them dark gray, okay. And this one is gonna be white. Perfect. Now we have a nose, it's fully completed. And for the sketch, it's gonna be easier for us if we'll uh, drop down the opacity, because right now it's 100, and it's not so easy to see what we already drawn on, or what we don't have uh, fully completed, so simply select this object, this image, and drop down opacity to probably 17. Now come to, to lock it one more time, and now we can complete with the other stuff. For this section is just a stroke, option click, and as I already showcased you, you can change uniform to width profile 1, and that's it, that's all you need to do. I'm gonna make this part faster because, well, nothing interesting is going on here, it's just a simple procedure, I'm gonna draw everything with a pen tool, everything that I don't have, and I'm gonna adjust some uniform scaling, I'm gonna use Shift W to adjust width, so simply watch this in a speed up process. For the corners, if you wanna make them smoother, if you don't want to have this butt cap, you can go to Stroke and change it to Round Cap. 
And for the eyes, this part is quite tricky because you need to have a closed shape uh, in order to have a white part of an eye. And also you'll need a second closed shape, for example, over here, in order to have a colored part of an eye. So we'll do it in that way. P, draw a first closed shape, close to this one, and now we can draw a second part. Shift-C to control handles. And we need to close this one. Perfect. And now our goal is to create an outside parts that are going to be overlapped on top of our color parts. So for now, press P and draw this one strictly following the sketch. This one is going to be black. You can press Shift X on the keyboard to swap color stroke and fill. And now you can complete this drawing by following this bottom part. Awesome. Now let's finalize this eye so we can select this section, Shift X to swap colors, select white color. And now this intersection is going to be a colored one so let's change the color to blue for example or brown let's make it brown because our bear is going to be brown something deep like like this one and now let's change the inner part because we have this outer part and we should have the second one somewhere here it was quite hard to find but here it is shift x and let's change it to brown. Let's adjust some handles. Perfect, and now we should add some iris, this black part. I can move this eye away, or I can drop down the opacity for it. Command G, drop down opacity, and now I can draw this black part. Perfect. We can unlock everything, we can make sure that the background is locked still. And now this one is going to be 100 opacity. And that's what we have. If you want to make sure that your eye is visible, you can increase its brightness. You can make a color. For the brown bear, we can go to the opposite color. So we can make uh, an eye maybe blue. Blue or something, like blue, yeah. It's gonna work, I think, yeah. Perfect, and here's our eye. Now we can make a copy, but we need to make sure that this one is rounded because it's a bit harsh. Perfect. Now let's make a copy. So select this one, reflect, that's it. Perfect eyes, beautiful. That was probably the hardest part of this entire image because those eyes are quite complex. So if it was hard for you, that's totally fine. But as you can see, it was quite a straightforward procedure. So first step is outer eye, like white part. Second step is colored part. Third step is outline. And step number four is drawing a black spot on the eye. That's it. And for this stitch, it's quite easy to do. You need to draw uh, a path. Now, let's suggest it. You can increase stroke thickness and change a stroke to dashed line. Now, make sure your cap is round cap. And that's it. You don't need to do anything else. It's gonna work. You can make a copy to this side press A on your keyboard and simply adjust position, size and the distance. If you want to increase or decrease the distance between those dashes, you can go to stroke and adjust dash and gap parameters. Now for the head, this one is quite easy, so you need to draw a line and later on you need to select it go to stroke shape and make it triangle drop down stroke and here you need to turn cap to butt cap 
to make transition smoother because as you can see we have this weird angle you need to press shift c on your keyboard and then you can adjust position of the stroke simply repeat this for any other parts Perfect, let's take a look at what we have over here. Make a copy. I want to say that we have a beautiful bear. And we are almost done over here, because what left is to fine-tune some details and apply a color for this one. And I don't want to make this video any longer, because it's been quite long already. But I want to make sure that you understand that this is quite a difficult task if you can complete this bear if you can finish this whole project it means that you already know illustrator at a very high level because you need to know only a couple of tools but you need to know that you know those tools at the highest possible level in order to complete projects of any difficulty and pen tool direct selection tool shape builder tool are those tools you need to know how they work and I hope you did everything right and you completed this bear. But if you didn't and if you have any other questions, please let me know down in the comments below because I'm willing to help. And don't forget to press like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that ring notification bell in order to not miss any new videos on our channel. And see you in the next one. Bye.